Assalamualaikum and hello to all. Today we are going to study chapter 2.3 source of alkane and 2.4 physical properties of alkane. Okay, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to uh, determine the natural source of alkane from petroleum and compare the boiling point of alkane based on molecular weight and isomeric alkane straight chain versus branch alkane and B explain solubility of alkane in water and non-polar solvent okay, so this is a schematic geology of natural gas resources you can see that there is this part gas rich shale where you can find the natural gas so what is natural gas so natural gas is especially rich in methane ethane and propane so as you can see from here methane is one carbon atom ethane is two carbon atom and propane is three carbon atoms so it means that natural gas rich in low molecular weight alkanes how can you get natural gas uh, it is formed when layers of decomposing plant and animal matter are exposed to intense heat and pressure under the earth's surface that's why uh, this one you can see it drills along the earth to find the natural gas okay next one this one what is shown for you is oil refinery for petroleum eh? Petroleum is liquid mixture containing 100 of substance of alkane. Uh, 150 hydrocarbon, roughly half of that 150 are alkanes or cycloalkane. The process here shown to you is actually distillation, which gives you a lot of kinds of alkane, which is kerosene, diesel, diesel oil, gas oil, lubricating oil, greases, petroleum jelly, paraffin wet, and asphalt. Asphalt, paraffin wet. Petroleum jelly, all these are heavy molecular weight um, alkane, yeah? so that's why you see it is at the bottom of the distillation here. Okay, so let's see physical properties of alkane. Yeah? When we talk about physical properties, always remember it is about boiling point, melting point, and also solubility. So, boiling point. So, what happened to boiling point? Yeah? Boiling point increase smoothly with the increasing number of carbon. Okay, if I write down in short form, it means that boiling point increase when you have higher number of carbon. Okay, the higher number of carbon means that you have higher molecular weight and molar mass also increase. Let's see for example here how many carbon are this? One, two, three. So this is three carbon atom. So three carbon atom here. The boiling point shown to you is negative 42.1 degrees Celsius. Means this one, uh, at room temperature, it is actually gas. Because this one already reached the boiling point. And one more here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this one is actually hexane. This one actually propane. So hexane, the 6 carbon atom, have boiling point of 68.7 degrees Celsius. So this one is higher compared to propane hexane is higher boiling point why because you have the greater number of carbon so the molecule is larger when the molecule is larger it have bigger surface area in contact and when you have bigger surface area in contact you have stronger when the wall attractive forces okay how, how can this happen eh? so when we talk about hexane it means that we want to see the interaction between another hexane Okay, I draw another one, hexane here, yeah, okay, 6 carbon. So, there is interaction between hexane and hexane here. And this interaction between them is called intermolecular forces. And this intermolecular forces is actually when the wall attractive forces. The larger the molecule, the bigger surface contact area, therefore stronger when the wall attractive forces. So, that's why hexane have higher boiling point uh, due to all of this reason. Okay, now we want to see branching okay how many carbon are there one two three four five six so six carbon and this one one two three four five six okay so it have the same number of carbon therefore this one actually having the same molecular weight even though it have the same molecular weight the boiling point is different you can see that this one which is straight chain straight chain is having 19 degrees higher boiling point 
compared to the branch this is branch the structure here is a branch structure branch okay why is that the more branch the molecule the molecule will become more compact uh, what happen when it become more compact surface area in contact are reduced okay so what happen is this cause the branch are keen to have smaller or lower when the wall attractive forces so lower boiling point even though it have the same molecular weight same molecular weight but different different structure whereby this one is more branch the more branch will have lower boiling point so that's the difference okay let's see this one let's try to check this one one two three four five okay one two three four five okay so this one all are having five carbon this one c5 hydrogen three six nine twelve h12 okay this one also c5 three five six seven eight nine twelve okay so the same molecule molecular formula c5 h12 and c5 h12 but one is branch so we can expect a will have lower boiling point right but how can we explain so first for you to explain you need to look for the differences in molecular weight and isomeric alkanes okay in this case molecular weight is the same right so for you to explain it would be like this a and b have the same number of carbon same number of hydrogen therefore same molecular weight but a is more branch molecule is more compact what happened when it is more compact surface area in contact are reduced when it is reduced what happened to when the wall forces it become smaller so a which is more branch should have lower boiling point than b okay so that is about boiling point next is solubility so does alkane and alkenes alkanes and cycloalkanes soluble in water so no it is not it is not soluble in water because they are non-polar molecule okay alkanes are non-polar molecule h2o is polar eh? this one is polar molecule so po non-polar cannot dissolve in polar but it can dissolve in non-polar solvent it means that liquid alkanes and cycloalkanes can soluble in one another it means if i have hexane i can dissolve this in propane it will be dissolved why because this is non-polar and hexane also non-polar so non-polar can be dissolved in non-polar solvent non-polar solute can be dissolved in non-polar solvent but with water cannot because it is polar so the good solvent for alkanes should also be something that is non-polar so benzene non-polar carbon tetrachloride this is actually ccl4 which is also non-polar chloroform ch2 cl2 also non-polar and other hydrocarbons and most hydrocarbon is non-polar okay so that's it for this topic 2.3 and 2.4 i hope you study this and good luck